So if you've been watching the Johnny Depp trial with Amber Heard, you're probably riveted by uh, the verdict. And you're probably wondering, okay, so who was the aggressor? So I'd like to weigh in from my perspective, looking at both their hands, and I have the privilege of having his fingerprints. And so I have a very deep understanding of at least the architecture of, of what's going on. Um, uh, from Johnny Depp's perspective, unfortunately, I don't have Amber's uh, fingerprints, but I have her hand and I can uh, uh, see um, what would be the, the relationship dynamic if you put those two together. So um, first, I want to have a, a, a conversation about power. Power is represented in the index finger, the directing finger, okay? So when your hand is developing with your sensory cortex and your whole nervous system, it, it is coming in with um, a strong um, uh, need to, uh, or the, the, the dominant side of your personality is expressed through the index, the area called the Mars region where you hold the hammer, and the thumb, okay? And Aristotle was writing about this. He was saying that that is poetically named um, the energy of Jupiter, the power finger, right? So you got this, uh, this is from my book here. And so you've got the fire side of the, of, of the hand is represented from this area of the index and the thumb and, and the Mars. So, you can say also the ego side, right? So here you want to be number one. And so this is not just a metaphor. Like, no kidding, this is your personality. It's your sensory cortex. And it is not only mirrored through the hand, it is amplifying every aspect of your personality. So if you have an aggressive side or you have a dominant side, you bet you're going to have a big Mars region here or a big index finger here. Okay. And that's what I, you know, display in my book. All these people, these are not aggressive. This is more the, the, the high achievers from the index. But when you come over here, you've got the more confrontational people because they have a region in the area of the palm that sticks out with many different lines there, big muscle there. Okay, so that's power. Now, imagine your soul is coming into your body at seven weeks and it's looking and navigating, okay, where do I wanna go? At this point, you have pretty much a water balloon and it's going to expand outward in the areas that are most satisfying and then create these big balls. And ultimately that forms circles in your fingerprints. If it doesn't like it from an ancestral hereditary pattern of avoiding that side, it's going to not develop that area. Now, what happens is, is that ultimately, whether it's a big water balloon or not, you end up getting a, a fingerprint, right? Like a big topographical map. That one has a big water balloon, right? This one, down here, not so much, right? That means that the area, when wherever that one goes, and even less here, it's even more deflated, that means that the person is not that same, in fact, avoids that energy. Now, what happens if you have a circle? That means if it's a circle on the index finger, the person wants power. They love it. And it doesn't mean necessarily that they're confrontational, okay? That comes from the Mars region here. But from the area of power, they hold power with great dignity, right? And they love it. So working with the publicist, we got Richard Branson's hands. And naturally, he is a man who goes and strives with dignity. He goes and finds the conflict because he has a circle there. So there's no problem. He, he knows that wherever that, that uh, conflict is within an organization, if you can go right into that problem and solve it, then the organization will grow. Okay, so he makes it his mission. He loves that energy. It's fire energy, right? So what happens if you get a tenant arch in that area? Well, first off, let's get our head around what the tenant arch is about. 
The tenant arch is a feeling of anxiety in general. If it doesn't matter where it is, if you have one, two, three, that put, tends to put you in a little bit more mm, edginess. I have three of them. And Johnny Depp, as far as I see, has two. And the area that he has, the one that's the anchored one, is on his right index finger. And that means that instead of enjoying power, he's going to feel a little bit more anxious about it. Just like these other people, like Eminem, who has the tenant arch on both index fingers. And if you know uh, Eminem's story, he was bullied through uh, his, when he was growing up, highly sensitive to criticism. And whenever these guys get into conflict, they don't go into aggression. They go into, they jump, they try to avoid it unless they're finally backed into a wall. But in general, they're highly sensitive and they don't want any of that uh, argument. They don't like it. And no matter what you think you know about Marshall Mathers, when I met him, he's actually a very, very nice, amenable guy. And his story is that he writes is his relationship conflicts. And ultimately, of course, he also gets into a drama with his them wife and they go through a, a brutal trial that just wasn't televised, but it was equally as brutal. And again, he felt he was dominated by his wife. And so does Johnny Depp feel that way. So that's having a tenant arch in the area of the index finger. And I'll show you Johnny Depp's fingerprints here. You can see he's got this kind of weird upside down T there, right? It looks like that. And the other ones are waves like, hey, I love the party. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Right. But here it's like, I don't know. I don't know about this area. And here's another wave. Right. So he's actually got his highest ranking fingerprint just at, if you're if you're into uh, understanding how this works, it's family. It's really meaningful for him and group, which is why I believe he felt very betrayed by being dropped by his producers because it was a family for him. Now, also interesting and in, interestingly enough, he's got this really wild wave here. And this is the area of the moon. It's the complete opposite energy of the index finger. It's the area of the water. It's the subconscious. It's developed before you even have a frontal cortex. It's a guy who's literally half here and half not. He's going in and accessing the subconscious, creating kind of a dreamy-like existence, okay? And so this creates a much more introverted, introspective man. And when you look at that hand in general, look how thin these fingers are. And you're looking at a very poetic nature for all those people. David Bowie has that as well. Uh, Mika has it. It's just a, a general need to be much more introspective and childlike. And, uh, and so when you add this tenant arch that says, I can't say no, then, you know, in some extremes, when they get into a place of, um, you know, alcohol and drugs and ecstasy and they can't say no, they're going to be in like la-la land, right? So no limitations. So... And you put this moon region and you get kind of a sense of the character of just this combination. What is somebody with a gentle nature who's going into the moon regions, kind of a lunatic sometimes, and, uh, you know, avoiding, avoiding conflict. Now, enter Amber Heard, who, if you remember what I just said, this area right here is the area of dominance, power. And look how it's almost like she's got uh, three muscles here. It's like having three index fingers. It's three times the power here. This is the area of Mars. And Mars is the energy of confrontation. And you look at the thumb. It's massive. And it's a thick lower area here in the index. There's a woman with the territory. And she can be very bullish. The nickname for that is the bully from a man who has read 70,000 hands. Richard Unger, and he recognized that that is a, a symptom that all these people have. And that doesn't mean they're necessarily bad guys. It's just that they're dri very driven. 
And this hand is has long fingers, long palm, but they're a little bit thick. That puts her in intellectual territory to be right, to be justified, to work from her knowledge and to hang on to a fact. You know, she she donated the money. Did money get actually transferred to the children's organization? No, but she can hang on to that fact and stay there. And that makes her a really good advocate or a lawyer as well, or an actor, right? Just hanging in there and not budging an inch. And that's the combination of this big thumb, not budging, and then being having an intellectual hand. This, is, this creates somebody that can be super, super right. Now add an argumentative side here, and we have somebody that can be quite dominant. And when you look at the people who have such a uh, region in their hand, what you're seeing is somebody who is no stranger to controversy. In fact, they like it. The more that you throw controversy at them, they seem to feel alive. That's how they feel a sense of strength. This is my previous boss. Not going to go into that one right now, um, but look at Boris Johnson. So if there's a debate, they jump right in the middle of it. They can't help themselves. So they make, he makes a great actor just being this person who doesn't mind being on the wrong side of an argument, even if it's costing another person's well-being. They can do that and stay argumentative. And so these people have the assertiveness. It's fine. You see this in police officers. They, they like confrontation. They go and uh, they grow in the strength. They, they love standing their grounds. That's why you find it martial artists and advocates and lawyers. So imagine being his uh, uh, being married to Amber Heard, and you're this guy who is a poet. What do you think will be the dynamic if she wants to play? And she wants to get into the argument and get and find a res result. And then he bounces and goes into the other room. That's going to really frustrate her. And so, because she wants to get in there and resolve it. And she's not seeing the conflict. She's not seeing a resolution to it. So that uh, keeps the conflict going and going in her mind. Because she can't let go without getting in there and transforming it. Now, I've worked with a lot of people on this issue because... I have it. I have the tenant arches on both index fingers, and I have really struggled in my life around conflict and being able to go into conversations that make a difference and talk about the elephant in the living room, really be able to speak and talk about the issue without it becoming an escalation with dignity, respect. The whole hero's journey, which is the 28-day program I have, is about engaging in your life and confronting it in a way where it doesn't seem like it's alienating to the people, you're empowering the people. So I'm going off a little bit, but just understand that this is a, a topic that's really dear to me around personal power and empowerment. And if you have a low ranking fingerprint here, chances are good, this is a conversation that you're gonna wanna have with me. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your comments about uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And um, yeah, or if you're uh, also a hand analyst and you have other thoughts about it, I'm very happy to answer your questions. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.